Oh boy. All right. Hello everybody. I am Buck WSR Weezer putting the do into do it yourself and today I'm coming at you from inside. The 2008 Honda Odyssey with a problem related to the turn signals. And honestly, the problem is more annoying to me right now than it is intriguing. And I'm not even sure it's worth a, uh, I'm not sure it's, it's video worthy, but I figure maybe uh, I'd roll the film and see if it turns into something interesting. So here's what happens, turn signal left, it blinks just fine and at the right speed, but the turn signal to the right, fast blink. See that? Well, 99 times out of 100, what that means is one of the turn signal bulbs has burnt out and the solution is simple, just put in a new bulb. But unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be quite that easy that time, this time. So let's put that on again with the fast blink and take a look at the car. Oh. All right, so the rear turn signal is flashing really quickly. Up here on the passenger side, the turn signal is not flashing at all. Do we have a bad bulb? Well, I'll tip you off. I've already looked at the bulb and it's fine. And I actually bought a replacement bulb just in case and same deal. So I think there's something going on beyond just the uh, need to replace the bulb. So let's prop it up. Let's pull that bulb out of there and verify that the bulb is in fact good and lights up and then see where our diagnosis can take us. All right, so in an attempt to prove that I'm not going crazy and prove to myself that the bulb is indeed good, here's the original bulb, which I pulled out of the car, made by Stanley, and we're going to see if it lights up with a 12-volt power supply that I have here. Look at that. So that bulb is fine. Here's the... Uh, Here's a replacement that I bought, the Sylvania. And same test, 12 volt power supply. Look, it lights up. So it's not the bulb. There's something else going uh, it's on. It's a little challenging to get to and but you can you can reach down and get it. Twist the socket and then pull it straight out don't have a whole lot of room but there it is there's the new replacement bulb that I had put in there and just taking a look at this socket probably can't see it but it does look uh, hang on it looks clean there's no corrosion in there. I don't see any problem with corrosion or anything like that. So we should be making a pretty good connection. Is it... Okay, I think I'm making progress here. Doing a little research online and I find that one problem that sometimes happens here is that we lose, we lose our ground. So I've got an, an experiment hooked up here to determine whether or not that's the case. So, Here's, here's one of our flasher bulbs just laying here on the hook, on the front of the grill here. And I've got an alligator clip lead over to our negative battery. So we're giving this bulb a ground, a negative, straight from the battery. Then over here at the socket, the flasher socket, to the positive side, which in this case is fed by that brown wire down there, I've connected the alligator clip to the positive side. Now, when I turn on the flashers, this bulb and, and touch here, it should flash. I think I got the flashers on. All right, so guess what? It's working. So we are getting 
positive voltage in a flashing pattern directly from the socket as we should and when we provide it a ground directly from the battery the bulb flashes so I think the confirmation of our issue here is we've got a bad ground somewhere and the ground wire is not bringing uh, bringing negative uh, battery negative to our socket like it should so that feels like a good confirmation of this test. We're getting the positive, we're just not getting the proper ground. So if we resolve that ground issue, our turn signal should be back in business. Now to confirm our hypothesis, hypothesis follow me here. Let's see if we're getting ground. Let's see if we're getting ground from the, the uh, light bulb socket. We will we will artificially bring battery positive from the battery through this alligator clip lead to our bulb and we'll connect our our negative wire to the negative side of that socket the black wire coming in at the bottom and this should light up our bulb not in a flashing pattern but and as you can see it does not so we are not getting ground battery negative from our our uh, light bulb socket here and that is the problem that we've got to fix okay well I've got the uh, car up on ramps and I've removed the uh, the plastic cover down here to get me access to where those uh, ground wires are so I'll do my best to show it to you and hold on this is really a little awkward but Right there, bolted to the frame, you can see the uh, the ground wires. And there's one, two wires under one lug, three, four, five. There's five wires there. And I'm pretty sure one of them is the ground wire for the turn signal on the passenger side. And I wiggled those wires and didn't see anything that seemed to miss. There's a couple of different gauge wire sizes there, and it's a pretty thin one up at the uh, turn signal socket. So I think what I'm going to do is unbolt that, clean it up good. I mean, some of those some of those wires seem to have a little bit of the green crusties. Not sure if that's obvious to you, but uh, yeah, I'll. Uh, I'll try to clean up that connection and then I'll check again and see if we've got a good ground up at the turn signal socket. That'll be my next step. So it looks like a 10 millimeter uh, wrench or ratchet will take that off and we'll, we'll try to clean it up and see if we can get a better connection. All right, here we are up on top of the engine again. From underneath, I disconnected, detached the ground, uh, you know the ground it was ground lugs and you can see now I got two of them broken off I've been rough with it on purpose to see if any of them would break so I disconnected and I pulled it up top here just so it's easier to work on so hard working on my back under the car so I'm gonna to have to reconnect these but what I decided to do just as a test is I connected my uh, alligator clip to the negative of that light socket to my test leads and I and I have my uh, continuity tester here so with con if there's continuity I should be able to figure out which is the ground for the turn signal and it's this guy right there so you hear it beeping so I've got continuity from here to my light socket so this is probably where we were having our bad connection so I've got to reconnect this for a turn signal and this guy too, the one I broke off, I don't know what he's for, and get this ground wire back in, in service and bolted down to the frame again. So I gotta come up with a uh, means of doing that, get it, get it all clean up, clean it up again. Okay, so with a combination of soldering, crimping, and heat shrink tubing I, I've got the uh, I connected this tail 
onto the two ground wires that it that had broken loose so you'd be able to just put this on right there under the uh, ground lug and screw it back onto the frame and uh, yeah I think that's gonna solve our ground issue and hopefully our blinkers will be back in business so now I gotta w fish this back down there and bolt it to the frame like it belongs well there's a look at our cleaned up uh, ground connections and uh, yeah I did verify with the test light that we now do have a ground at the uh, uh, turn signal bulb socket so I think we're good to go we're just gonna button up everything down here and uh, and we'll be we'll be blinking again it'll be so much fun look it's flashing well we finally got it resolved we got the got it flashing again the problem was that uh, we'd lost connection to ground I, um, in theory, it sounds pretty simple, but in actuality, it ate up a good chunk of my day uh, tracking down the problem and resolving it. But it's done, and that feels that feels really pretty good. While I've got the car up on the ramps, I think I'm going to go under there and change the oil. I want to thank you for watching me today, and I hope you learned something. Uh, feel free to leave a comment or a question if you have it, and I will look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye-bye. Look at that. It's not that rapid blink anymore. Oh, that feels nice. That feels real nice.